All right, so I wanted to talk about a few things today. Um, it's been a while since I've been here, but I had some family things going on. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about is that we've been all been searching for Lux, Lewis, and Roberts, because that's that's what we've been designed to do. Concerned that Tops is releasing those guys so far this year in Top Series One, Top Series Two, and Tops Chrome. And right now, none of us know what's going to happen in Tops Update or Tops Chrome Update. And there's a lot of fear because of COVID and the shortened season that they might not include any new players. Okay? Um, there's a lot of call-ups this year, a lot of really good call-ups. So we could talk about uh, the Rookie of the Year Award, which has some relevance to uh, uh, baseball card collecting. And we can also talk about um, the call-ups that are going on right now that some of these guys are really outpacing the guys that we're all chasing. So we're all chasing Lewis, right? Lewis Robert, and he's been in a slump, even though he's still on pace to possibly win the Rookie of the Year Award. I'll just pull it up real fast. If you can look here, um, this is always a good article on sportsbettingdime.com. Uh, they have an odds tracker that I like to follow. And right now you can see it, Kyle Lewis, he's falling off a little bit, and they're giving the edge to Lewis Robert. He's 22 years old. He's got a bright career ahead of him. I, I think we've talked about him a few times. I have recently snapped up a few of his uh, tops, um, uh, Top Series 2 at $10 a piece, his uh, Top Stadium Club at $10 a piece. And uh, so it's so long as you try to keep following eBay or keep following um, certain pl places on Facebook, you can find the right deals. Um, anyway, so obviously um, I think investing in him is a good idea, but let's take a step back and talk about all these guys that have been called up that aren't getting any recognition right now and that you're probably completely missing. The first one I want to bring up is 23 years old, Ryan Mountcastle for the Baltimore Orioles. He's killing the ball. And if you look at Lewis Robert, his, his uh, Bowman first is going for about $100 right now, his Chrome version. I can go ahead and buy this right now, buy it now for $30 off eBay. Um, that's not a bad buy. I'm actually thinking about buying that car with the projection. It might actually double in price here by the end of the season. I brought up this card because, only because I have it, Alec Baum. I bought this card at like $35. Um, about three weeks ago, I decided to throw it up on eBay at like a ridiculous price. And then um, people were sending me offers for like $70. Two weeks later, they were sending me offers for $80. Two weeks after that, they're sending me offers at $100. And now people are sending me offers for $120. So my ridiculous price, I almost want to up my ridiculous price because my ridiculous price is about to be met. I was really just throwing it out there to get feelers and stuff. Um, so, so you see that Mount Castle is knocking the ball out of the park. Alec Baum is hitting high average. And Cronworth is the other guy. Now, Cronworth is a little bit older. He's like 26 years old. His um, Bowman first card's back in 2015, so you'll find it much cheaper. I don't think Cronesworth, being his age, is going to be a huge star down the road. That's also the same reason why I'm not a big um, Greg Lewis um, buyer right now. But these other two guys, Alec Baum, 24, playing third base, they're talking about switching him over to first base eventually. I think he's got a pretty good future ahead of him, just with how much he hits the ball. And Mountcastle's just killing it. He was, if you don't know Mountcastle, he was the MVP in the minor leagues just last year at 22. So I think they waited to bring him up on purpose just because they were trying to, you know, tank last season. Um, going back now, we've, that we've talked about those three guys that are, do not have tops cards. They probably will have a tops cards in tops update or tops update Chrome. That's my hope. If not, Tops will have to wait till next year, and I don't think Tops really wants to do that. Those guys only got called up 10 games into the season. Granted, 60-game season, but you have 50 games to take pictures of these guys, and they always take pictures of them at the All-Star break and still get the cards to you by October. So I think we will see those guys, um, their first rookie cards here at the end of the season, and then you may see their Bowman cards jump. So that's, that's ones to look out for. Just going down, let's talk again about um, Rookie of the Year. Because with the Rookie of the Year award, it, it doesn't have too much of a boost of impact on the rookie cards out there, you know. But uh, it does help guide you into what cards may be worthwhile down the road. Like, you can always say that uh, the Rookie of the Year doesn't always mean uh, Hall of Famers. But a lot of times it does mean that these guys are going to be pretty daggone good the rest of their career. So, you know, you're looking at who is it right now. 
Lewis Robert and Kyle Lewis are pretty much tied. Mount Castle, I have it highlighted here at 4,000, plus 4,000, because he's got no chance to win it because of when he was called up. That's what they're saying. I, I personally disagree with it. I think I think because just because it's a shortened season, if one guy's playing 60 games, the other guy's playing 40, I think you still got to give them a fair shot. We'll see what they do. But you look at the past Rookie of the Year awards, you see a lot of names on here that you know, but are not guys you're going out and spending $100 for their cards on. You know, obviously Mike Trout, maybe Aaron Judge, Shohei Otani's still going for a lot of money just because there's a hope that he can get back to what he was. Jordan Alvarez is injured, so we don't know what's going to happen with him. My fear is, you know, Will Myers had the injury bug for a few years, and that's what kept his card down. So we really don't know what's going to happen in the future with these guys, but we know they'll at least be pretty good usually. Um, going to National League contenders, it's a little bit more wide open. Cronsworth is ahead of everybody, and personally, they're not even showing Alec Baum on here, which is kind of disappointing because Alec Baum is pretty much hitting stride by stride with this guy, and he's three years younger than him, you know. So I think that's a, I think it would definitely be a, a, interesting to see Alec Baum on here, and you see his, he's already starting to climb on this as well. And this is updated pretty pretty regularly. I'd say every two weeks, check into this, and you see an update on it. And then you see here are some past guys. Obviously, Bryce Harper still goes for a lot of money. Jacob DeGrom goes for a lot of money. Chris Bryant has had a setback year. Corey Seager, he's, he's pretty good, but he get, doesn't get the credit he deserves because he's a shortstop and just kind of hits for average. Cody Bellinger is having a downtime right now, but last year he was Babe Ruth, it seemed like, for a while there. Um, Acuna and Pete Alonso. Yeah, I mean, you got a lot of pretty good names in that list. So if you follow these guys, you know, a lot of times these guys, they might not be Hall of Fame guys, but there's about a 50% chance they will be. And then those are the guys that are going to be worth money over time. Another thing I want to talk about, um, just real quick, is if you're trying to buy these cards and you're trying to have a good deal on them, how do you do it? Now, you can just say, okay, well, I can go to Facebook and get into a group and buy it off the group, or I can join one of those uh, Razzes and, and hope to win like a hobby box or a team. And then there's another option that I, too, I do a lot of, which is I, I search for new listings on eBay. Now I'll tell you on, um, and I do it regularly. So I save it into my phone. You know, I'm not even sure if this will show up, but I uh, get eBay search. I hit saved. See the saved area there. Well, that's saved. That's going to show me um, all the new cards right away. And I, I did it in here. And this is uh, Mount Castle, basically his newest listings. So somebody just posted his newest listing at like $100 for his Bowman first autograph. You scroll down, somebody else got it at $85. Now, I'm looking at this $85. That $85 might be cheaper than how much his auctions are going for. So if you follow these uh, new listings, you'll see all the new auctions right away, and you'll also see all the new Buy It Nows right away. I'll tell you what I bought off Buy It Now. I bought a Mike Trout rookie card. Um, with the whole entire complete set for $450. I bought um, uh, a Lewis Robert short print chrome for $35. You know, um, I bought obviously a few uh, Lewis Robert top series two for eight, ten dollars a piece. Just because these guys are posting them up, they want quick sales, they don't care, and the first one that sees it basically wins that card. These guys are just trying to flip money so they can go get their next thing. Um, so if you're looking to make money off cards, um, this is a good way to do it because you don't even have to wait two years a lot of times for this. A lot of times you can buy, buy it now and then flip it a month later just because you're more patient than the other guys are. So that's just something I wanted to talk about. And uh, obviously I want to talk about these guys here because if these guys go in the tops update, um, and then they also win rookie of the year or or second place in the Rookie of the Year award, you're going to see their Topps Update cards go for a lot more money, and then you're going to see their Bowman First cards go for a lot of money, which right now they're starting to go up in value, but they still have a long time to go. All right, that's it for today.